Hello everyone, welcome to this video. And basically today I wanted to talk about how to connect to the Smart Lead API using make.com, basically. And this is something that you can do with make.com, you can do with Zapier, you can do with custom code as well. Like I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to do it. Now make is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So you don't need to learn how to code or anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you. This is something that I did the other day. It was like a test. Basically, where we connect to the Smart Lead API, we get all the campaigns, and then we basically iterate over all, all the campaigns. We search to see if it exists on a Google Sheet, and if it doesn't exist, we basically add a new row with the campaign information. And if it already exists, it's just gonna change the name if it's if it's different than before. So it updates the the campaigns now. The purpose of this automation is basically to keep track of all the data from the campaigns. This is just like a little test. It doesn't, it just has like the name and the ID of the campaign, but this can be used to basically track all the data from all the past campaigns and keep it all in a big spreadsheet. Because if you're using smart lead, for example, you can only have a certain amount of leads actively in the software <laughs> or you have to pay more money. So. If you're like the leading campaigns and you don't have them anymore in your smart lead, you might want to keep a big spreadsheet with all the data so you have everything in one place. And this could be a great way to do it. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how to basically connect to the smart lead API. Now, all you have to do, you know, when you come into make, you search for HTTP and you want to do a request where you basically, let's see, make a request. Yeah, you select make a request. And here, well, in this case, it's gonna be a get request. So you have get, post, put, whatever. Post is usually when you're sending data to smart lead and get is to like get data and there's other things here like delete, put. Put is to like update, but in this case, let's just focus on get. <laughs> and you can actually see in the smart lead documentation, you can go here to the smart lead API documentation and you can see exactly all the information that you need. And as you can see in this case, it says get, it's like very small. I don't know if you can see it properly. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so here it says get. So you know that you have to do a get request. And in this case, it would be post. So it would have to be a post request, delete request to the lead campaign. So you see kind of how it works. Now, in this case, we want to use the request to list all the campaigns. And what this is going to do, as you can see here in the example, it's just going to return basically a list with all the different campaigns. So this would be one campaign and it would be basically an array with all the different campaigns. So what we have to do is we have to make an HTTP request to this, uh, this URL. So let's see. We have to copy this here. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it uh, properly. Let me just like make this bigger so you can understand what's going on. So basically, you know, we have HTTP server.smartly.ai slash API version one. So that would be like the URL for the API. And then from here, we will have different things. So in this case, it's just campaigns. So this means that we're going to retrieve the campaigns. So in other cases, it might be something different. Like for example, here we have to put campaigns and then slash the campaign ID. So we have to put like different values depending on what we want. Let me say, for example, in the email accounts. So if we want to like list all the email accounts, we have to put campaigns, campaign ID, and then email accounts. So it's going to show all the email accounts for that campaign. So you see how kind of the API works. Now, again, let's go back to this example. Where is it? Okay. So we have, this is the route that we want to make a request to. And then here we have to put our API key. Now, this is something that you can find in your smart lead account. You can go generate an API key and use it. Now, in this case, I can show you my API key and I recommend that you don't share your API key with other people. So I was going to 
basically put this in here and I'm just gonna pause the video and put my API key. But also another thing that I noticed is that here where it says parse response, you probably wanna select yes. Because basically this is gonna like return you the response from the server so you can see what you got. So yeah, now I'm gonna put the API key. Okay, so I've put my API key in. This should be working well. So let's run it and see what happens. Okay, cool. So we got the, the results here. So as you can see, the output is basically gonna be this JSON file. It says headers, cookie headers, whatever. What we want is the data. So if we, want, if we go into the data, we can see it's an array. So basically a list with all the different campaigns. So I have 12 campaigns. Should I open the campaigns? Maybe. I guess this is like an old campaign, so it doesn't really matter. So here you can see like ID, user ID, the status of the campaign, the name of it, etc. You can see like, you know, a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Basically, you can go into like the settings. Well, there's nothing there. You know, the schedule values, whatever. So basically, this is what you get. And then from there, you can use that data. Well, let's say iterator. So here we select basically what we want, which is this data array, which is going to have all the campaigns. And then we can do things with this, I guess. <laughs> we can go into Google Sheets or do whatever you want. But basically, I think you got the point of how to connect to the Smartly API with make.com. As I said, you can do this with Zapier or with custom code or whatever. But yeah, I might make other videos with other cool automation stuff. So yeah, let me know if you have any ideas in the comments. Yeah, thank you for watching.